So, what's going on guys? Junis Tech here, back with another one. Now, when it comes to headphones and all that good stuff, you know, they're pretty they're pretty generic. You know, companies are coming up with better designs, you know, for in-ear headphones, over-the-head headphones, audio equipment, you name it. And, it, yeah, fair enough, there's a lot of them out there that are absolutely incredible. I've reviewed a ton of them. But there's always something different. I want to see different audio equipment. What can companies bring to audio to allow us as users to get a better experience? Well, that was until a company called Lamuna got in touch with me regarding a pair of audio sunglasses. Now, it may sound silly, it may sound different. Just watch the video and we'll go from there. So guys, this is what we're looking at. We are looking at a very snazzy pair of sunglasses. So it's from a company called Lamuna, and obviously a website going on there, and this is pretty much what they've got going. So these are noise cancelling for clear calls and music, ultra lightweight and comfortable, one pair of Luma fits any style, crystal clear sound, unique design, splash and dust proof, fast charging and long lasting battery, as well as modular design for quick frame changes. Now that's important and we'll go into it in a second. First of all, I have to say perks to them for the actual boxing experience. Like, they've got in big letters going on there, their logo on the back. Those have got smart eyewear. But I like the design of the box with a slit on the side, goes all the way around. So when you open it, it's on an angle. And look at that. Now, if that is an unboxing experience, I don't know what is. So we're going to get this all out and go for the process and get everything unreviewed. So let's do that now. So this is what we get in the box. We get a pair of sunglasses with the audio receivers in the side on the, on the legs. We get a plain pair of glasses. We get a USB to dual magnetic uh, pin charger, as well as a little user manual. User manual is pretty much gonna tell you everything you need to know about this device, everything from connecting them, how the touch control works, um, obviously where not to use them, how to use them, all that good stuff. Like don't go deep sea diving or anything while wearing these, probably not the best of ideas. We get the cable, so uh, like I said, USB to double pin, uh, double, double pin magnetic charger going on there. So that'll go on each one of the legs, which we'll go through in a second. We do get just a simple black frame, uh, straight glasses design. Obviously, um, if you do wear glasses, I'm assuming you probably could get these done so they are actually your own glasses. Don't quote me on that. If I find out, I'll pop it in the comment section below. And then we have the glasses itself. Now, they look like a very nice generic pair of sunglasses. They look quite nice, large frames, suit pretty much anyone. But then when it comes to the actual legs, it's a little bit different. Now, we can see the legs actually here are a little bit larger, and then we have like more of the uh, normal design headphones. Well, if, first of all, if I just quickly unscrew, actually take the legs off, which is a bit weird to say, but, you know, pop them to one side. So, like I said... How these work is that there is two little metal pins, one on each side, and they do have a little metal pin with a little notch, and that just allows you to actually pull them off and put the other ones on. Same with the clear glass design, we have the same actually mechanism, um, and they just can simply just slip back on. So the mechanism is actually attached by this little port here. As we can see, there is a little right angle cut there, slides in, turn it, done. Now this is the audio portion of the headphones. Now, these are true wireless 5.0. We have quite the large area here, which is going to be for the, the good capacity battery life. We have the logo as well as a, I don't know if that's an indicator or a microphone. We've got one on the bottom as well. One will be an indicator, one will be a microphone. But we also have this little embellishment. This little embellishment just allows you as an indicator where the MFB button is or where the MFB touch button is. Uh, this is where you're going to be able to play songs, pause songs, answer calls, all that good stuff. On here, we do have the two brass double magnet design. This is where your charger is going to be placed, and they simply go on very, very easily. You just simply find your two pins, pop it on, and you are good to go. That is how it would charge. So you just pop the two pins. As long as the two pins have made contact, you are good to go. That will be charging. On the little portion here, we do have a little black mesh part. This is where your audio is going to be. Now, particularly this little angle here is going to be where your actual where it actually sits on your ear. Now, this will be pretty much perfectly in line with your ear canal, allowing you to hear the songs properly. 
Now, I will get some audio set up and actually play some music from these to try and see if I can get you to to try and hear the music. But obviously, just remember these are imitating more like headphones, so the music won't be as clear as I would hear them or you would hear them personally by wearing them. But I have to admit, an extremely cool design. So what we need to do is actually get them connected to the Bluetooth first. So we're, again, we're going to do a little bit of screen recording. So what I am going to do is I'm going to pop these back onto here. They go on very simple. Like all you all we have to do is pop that there, give it a twist, and you are good to go. There's a leg back on straight away. And then same with the other one. It just slides on when you get it in the right orientation. Slides on. Give it a twist. Don't be too aggressive with it. It doesn't need that much power. And then what we're going to do is get these connected up to Bluetooth. So I've got my screen record on. What I'm going to do is go over to my Bluetooth settings. Go to Bluetooth settings and uh, have a look for a new device. So there we go. The device is straight away. Lemuna. Lem and there we go. So there was a little sign there that did say they are connected. So we are pretty much good to go. So like I said before regarding the MFB buttons on the side. Obviously... For playing and pause, skipping songs. So if you tap to control the area. So if you tap it once, this will be for the likes of um, pausing a song or playing a song. You can skip forward and skip back by just double tapping each side to left to right. And then answering calls is relatively the same. Tap it once to answer the call. Double tap to cancel the call. And then you can even tap and hold to actually cancel any form of incoming calls, which is pretty cool. So the only th other thing I will remind you is that if on the MFB buttons, if you if I get my phone ready, if I put my phone there, hold down, it'll actually connect to Google or Siri. So as we can see, Siri is there talking to me as always. She gets annoying, but that's how it works. So you can also use this to actually do that. So or you don't need to worry about getting your phone out anymore. All you can do is simply talk. The microphones on the size of the headphones will understand what you were trying to say, and you are pretty much good to go. So what I'm going to do now is actually going to get some music loaded up, see if we can play some, play some music through these to see if you guys can hear it at home. So I do have some music playing through. I'm going to put it towards the microphone to see if you can actually hear it. I did try and play the music a little bit there, but it wasn't the loudest, but I have to admit, really cool device. But the one thing I do like is, if I am playing music and I've got it going, and I decide to take these off, all I have to do is close the headphones. Little red LED indicators, they have powered off. So I don't need to worry about this continuous playing and all that. It's disconnected from my phone, powers off, I don't have to worry. But if I want to go back to wearing them straight away, all I've got to do is open them back up. They'll actually register the device. Little LED indicators will show up. Device paired, I'm good to go, I can press play. Then as soon as it's connected, all I need to do is tap the button again. And I'm back listening to my music. Really, really cool idea. So definitely a cool little bit of kit. Obviously we're getting to the summer times now, especially in the, here in the UK. And then this seems to be like 95% of people wear sunglasses. But I'm one of those ones, if it is a hot day, I don't like wearing headphones because, you know, your ears get sweaty. They don't thin your ears properly. It's uncomfortable. So the concept of having something like this where you can wear your sunglasses, which you're going to wear anyways, allows you to have your sunglasses, listen to music. It's a two-in-one operation, and they're really easy to use, connect, and they look really cool, I have to admit. Very stylish. But even for the likes of, if I pop these off and then put the clear frames on, even if you just want it for more of a design situation, it takes a couple minutes to actually take them off and actually get them reconnected when you put them in the right orientation, of course. And then it really is simple to just get them connected back up, just like that. And you're pretty much good to go. So they look relatively really nice just as plain glasses. The only difference is they're slightly a little bit larger than a conventional pair of headphones anyways. But it seems to be the new in thing, obviously having larger glasses, bigger frames, chunkier frames, especially with sunglasses. So I definitely have to admit, this is a huge thumbs up for me and an absolute incredible product. So, like I said, this is what we have just reviewed. We've just went through these pair of glasses. Like I said, we went through the sunglasses themselves as well as the clear glass. Um, I will have to look into the fact to see if you can actually get these made to be your own glasses. Like, if you do wear glasses, you can get the lenses changed out. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that's something you could do. Uh, but I have to admit, I quite enjoyed this review, and they do. I do actually like them. Obviously, especially here in the UK at the moment, you know we're having the heat wave of a lifetime, up to 40 degrees, all that rubber. So... 
Sunglasses are everyone's dream. I, I wear sunglasses when it's this weather just because I can't be bothered staring at the sun. It drives me insane. But I enjoy listening to my music, but not when it's 40 degrees because the headphones are in my ears, they get sweaty, they fall out, and it drives me insane. So this kind of knocks it off for it too. Like, it's sunny outside, I can wear my sunglasses. But then, I, of course, I can just connect these to my phone and start listening to music. And it sounds weird, it feels weird, but the sound on them is actually really good. Now, I did test them out going from indoors to outdoors, went for a little walk, took my dog for a walk while wearing these, listening to some music, just to see roughly how they actually adapted, you know, if it was like high winds or something. Don't have high winds at the moment, but it was fairly breezy. But I have to admit, they held up very well. Like, I would prefer these to a lot of other headphones. And the thing is, they the way the speakers are designed, they directly go towards your ear canal, so you're hearing it. And even if you've got it on full volume, everyone around you can't exactly hear it massively. So it's not like having mini speakers or like a speaker just on blast. You know, because they're directed in such a way, you're not going to start peeing off everyone else. Like if you're in a group or something like that, or if you're lying on the beach with a row of people, you don't have to worry about that. But I have to admit, the sound quality is unbelievable. So if you do want to go grab a pair of these out for yourself, please do check the links in the video description. There'll be a link there dedicated to their website so you can go check them out. And of course, if this video did help you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any further videos. And at the end of the day, I hope you have an amazing day.